This video will teach you how to install and run Home Assistant on Mac OS. There are two key components to Home Assistant, the core and the supervisor. Mostly all users will require both components to be installed in order to have a fully featured Home Assistant experience. It is possible to run the Home Assistant core natively on Mac OS, however running Home Assistant without the supervisor would not be recommended for most users. A better way to run Home Assistant on the Mac is to use UTM to create a virtual machine, which will allow Home Assistant to be run using Debian Linux. This tutorial will guide you through the process of configuring UTM and Debian Linux, which are both completely free to download and install. With that said, let's begin by downloading both of the necessary components. Follow the link on screen to visit the Debian download page. If you are using an Intel Mac, you should download the AMD64 package. If you are using a newer M processor, you will need the ARM64 package. If you are unsure which architecture your machine has, click the Apple logo in the top left hand corner of the screen and then click about this Mac. Here you will find the details of the chip that is inside your machine. Follow the link on screen to visit the UTM download page. Download UTM and unpack it into your applications folder. When Debian has finished downloading, go ahead and open UTM. We will now begin creating our Home Assistant virtual machine. First, Create a new virtual machine and choose the virtualize option, then choose Linux. Next, click browse and navigate to the Debian file that you have just downloaded. You can leave the hardware and storage settings as default for now. You can change them at a later date if necessary. On the summary page, enter a name for your virtual machine, such as Home Assistant, and then click save. From the main screen, right-click your newly added virtual machine in the left-hand sidebar. Right-click the display device and remove it. Then add a serial device and check that the mode is set to built-in terminal. Click on Network, and change the network mode to Bridged. This will allow your Debian virtual machine to connect to your network as if it was an independent computer with its own IP address. Once done, Save the changes by clicking the save button, and then close the dialog box. We will now begin the Debian installation process. Click the play button to boot the virtual machine. When the boot menu loads, choose install. Run through the various option screens, choosing the correct language and keyboard settings for your region. After configuring the keyboard, enter a host name of your choice, for example, Home Assistant. Enter your domain name. If you don't have a domain name, just leave it blank. Next, we will enter a password for the root login. We will also create a new user account. First, enter your full name. Then enter your desired username and password. These are the credentials that you will use to log into Debian. Now we can configure the virtual hard disk. We will choose guided partition for the entire disk. Next, we will choose all files in one partition. Then, choose to finish partitioning, and write the changes to disk. The base system will now be installed. We do not need to scan extra installation media. Now we need to choose our location, so that Debian can locate the most optimum archive mirror. You can choose whatever archive mirror you prefer. If in doubt, choose Debian.org. We can leave the HTTP proxy information blank. Choose whether or not you want to participate in the popularity contest. You can read the details here for further information. Now we have the opportunity to add the graphical user interface but it is not needed for running a Home Assistant server, so we won't include it. 
I would recommend installing the SSH server and standard system utilities only. Once the installation is complete, ensure that you remove the ISO image from the virtual drive, then reboot the virtual machine. The virtual machine should now boot to the Debian login. Enter your username and password that you created during installation. Once at the command prompt, log in to the super user account. First, we will back up the network interfaces file, in case of any problems during the home assistant installation. Next, we will install all of the dependencies required. Now we can install Docker, the program that will manage our home assistant container. We also need to install OS Agent, which will allow the Home Assistant Supervisor to communicate with Debian. Follow the link on screen to open the OS Agent download page. Scroll down and locate the .deb file for the latest release. Make sure you choose the correct file for your processor. Right-click the link and copy the link address. We can download the package at the Debian command line by using the wget command. Type the command and then paste the link address copied from the OS agent download page. Once the package has downloaded, use the dpkg command to install it. Following the installation, we can test that OS agent is working correctly. The command should produce similar output as is shown on screen. Now we are ready to install Home Assistant. First, we will use the wget command to download the .deb package. Once it has downloaded, we will use the dpkg command to install it. You will need to select your machine type. Use QEMU ARM64 if you are using an M-series processor. Use QEMU x8664 if you are using an Intel processor. The Home Assistant server will begin, and you will be taken back to the Debian command prompt. Your machine IP address should be displayed, but you can also use the hostname command. Using a browser, navigate to your Debian IP address using the port 8123. This will take you to the Home Assistant onboarding screen. Congratulations! You have successfully installed Home Assistant on your Mac. Visit scitech.com forward slash Home Assistant for more tutorials like this.